I lived here when I was younger before I moved away and I've been desperate to come back ever since because it's such a lovely area. Um, one of the fantastic things here is the uh, primary schools that they've got in Adel, um, which are sort of really well regarded. And what you actually find is that there's a lot of um, sort of young professionals who've started families who want to come somewhere where they feel safe, where they feel that there's good facilities, education, transport links. My name is Liz, I'm speaking to you from the Headingley Enterprise and Arts Centre. Set up and run by the community in Headingley and this offers great facilities for people living in Headingley. There's the cafe here as you can see which has great food and a really good social area. We run classes every day of the week so it's a really good facility for people living in Headingley. Uh, so we opened just over a year ago, October 2014. Wide range of customers really, a lot of local business and residents and the occasional students. Um, I think we're a good alternative to some of the student pubs we have around here. Um, but yeah, Headingley's still quite up and coming, there's new bars and restaurants opening all the time. My name's Adam, I've been working at the Brew Dinal, uh, for about 15 months. Um, in terms of what this place is about, it's primarily a music venue, but it's also sort of kept the ethos of a social club as well, uh, for locals and for students, wherever everybody wants to come here really. I'm from Leeds and I've lived in Burley for about six years here and there. Uh, I've always found it quite a nice place to live. It's quite quiet, but it's still got a bit of a vibrance to it. Uh, as I would say, Hyde Park has as well. One of the good things about living in Headingley is it's got quite an eclectic mix of different people, from like old to young to students, which keeps it vibrant. Every year they change, you get new students in, you get people leave, it's also good. It's good for business, it keeps it fresh. Um, one of the advantages of Headingley is that it's easy to get in and out of. You've got one main road and there's quite a lot of buses. So me now living in town, there's lots of places you can catch a bus from. It gets you in very quickly. My partner and myself uh, wanted to live somewhere like this because it's fantastic for uh, being close to the countryside, being uh, able to get to places. So whether, you, whether you're going to Harrogate, whether you're going to Leeds, whether you're going to Ilkley or Otley, um, however you look at it, this, this central area. Um, I live in Kirkstall, so I can walk straight to work, it takes about 15 minutes. Um, and when I'm not at work, I can be down at the Brudenell, which again is probably another 20 minutes from where I live in Kirkstall. So we've got Kirkstall Abbey, Kirkstall Bridge Pub, <laughs> and you're right near um, the canal as well. You can take like, a really nice walk into town and that probably only takes about 40 minutes. We already had one really good retail park, but we just had a new extra retail park open with some really interesting things on it. Um, so shopping-wise, it's pretty good. I think it's probably one of the two or three places in Leeds now to go shop. Generally speaking, the, the type of properties that are in the area attract uh, sort of people with growing families and it's quite a nice place to live so it's sociable from that point of view uh, but it also feels safe and, and secure. Um, I've been a resident in Gertstall since 1996 when we moved up from London. Now I wouldn't live anywhere else. It's a very sort of green suburb um, and there are lots of things going on so it, it's a very vibrant place to live in. So in an area like this you can choose, you can either have the rural sort of uh, idyllic countryside around you or you know if you're feeling a bit more lively you can go for the sort of more thriving areas.